Well, good morning, everybody. It's Bishop Deb. I'm coming to you from Niagara on the Lake, Ontario. And of course, I start recording, and here comes the guy with the uh, leaf blower. The minions are out today. It's very chilly. It's it's uh, got frosty overnight. I turned the heat on for like ten minutes, and it got so hot in the house I <laughs> had to turn it back off. But it took that chill out of the air. Um, I miss a fireplace. Our last place had a fireplace, and that's the kind of thing that you want on a gorgeous night when it's a little bit nippy. Sit in front of the fireplace and sip on something warm. Alas, I cannot do that. So I hope that you are having a good day and looking forward to a weekend. I have a crazy weekend again. Another two or three weeks and I can hang up my my busy hat. But yeah, we're um, we got meeting. We've got an annual meeting on Sunday. I've got two weddings on Saturday. I still have to find witnesses for that because it's going to be at my house and um, just planning. You know, looking forward. Now it feels like we're coming into the time of year where once we get through uh, um, Halloween, thoughts turn to Christmas, and for me in the church, it means that. You know, I start planning services for that. And not so much planning for the day, but getting us to that day. Ah, dear. So, yes, I was... Oh, I was listening to radio last night. I'd taken my sons into Niagara Falls, and it was it was snowing. They had snow. I had freezing rain coming home. Couldn't believe it. And the... Uh, I, I came across, across this channel, a uh, religious channel. And I had to stop and listen because the fellow, he sounded, I, I could almost picture him. Uh, older fellow, probably smokes a lot of cigars. Um, very um, poundy of the Bible. Uh, and and a bit of a southern drawl. And I just knew him from his voice. I, I could picture him. If, if he's a skinny little accountant looking guy, I'll be very surprised. But he he had there's a warmth to radio there's a warmth to to what you're listening to with me right now and if you have the right resonance of the mic and you have the right atmosphere uh it can be very intimate it can be very that's it's a warm medium that's what they call it a warm medium so you feel like you're listening to a friend right so i'm listening to this fellow and he's going on about the garbage in the world what what our children are listening to and what they're absorbing and and how awful it is and what you know we these are the worst times ever you know and I mean he's got to be past 60 so I'm not sure how he thinks that what we grew up with wasn't as bad as what it is now but all this awfulizing and he kept saying you need to know Jesus you need to know Jesus but he never told us why you know it's to me, you talk about the love of Christ and how Jesus loves us and how, you know, if you want to bring in the cross or, you know, why, why we should love Jesus, you know, because he loves us and he cares for us. And he didn't say any of that. It was just like this statement, you know, you got to know Jesus. We can't know Jesus until we experience you know, that's all words. Once we, um, a, a bishop I knew a long time ago said, faith is caught. It's caught and not taught. And I think that's true. You can read books, you can um, go to lectures, you can go to church, but if you don't feel it, if you don't get it in a deep place that resonates, it's not going to make any sense. So, you know, for all of his good words last night and his earnestness about, you know, this day and age and, you know, we got to do better. Um, I came, I, I listened to the end of it and he kept saying, you know, I love you. You know, I love you, but blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, no, I don't know that you love me. I don't know you. And you, you kind of give me a backhanded slap here. Um, because obviously I, I'm, I'm, I need to repent. I'm a sinner, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then he asked for a lot of money. So it, it's, it's typical. It's, it's not news 
uh, this happens a lot with evangelists, but to me, it's every day walking with God. It's every day experiencing blessings. It's every day knowing that I'm not alone and sharing that with people who see my life. So, I don't know. It just, I just wanted more from that little chat. And I think people did too. You know, I can hear, I could, I could imagine people nodding. Yeah, it's bad. Oh yeah, you preach it. But maybe those people already knew Jesus and didn't need a deeper explanation. But um, it becomes the task in this day and age of translating why that's important, which is part of what I'm seeking to do. And, you know, for for many, many people, billions of people on the planet, Jesus is the answer. But I'm I'm also aware that there are very wonderful folks who follow, who call God by different names, who are just as loving and just as caring. And they get a, a horrible rap because they're not like us or they don't believe like us. I think there's plenty of room, plenty of paths, all, all things done in love lead to God. You know, if we have a loving attitude towards God, if we treat one another in love, in kindness and compassion, if that's what our Bible, holy book tells us what it tells us to do, then I think we can't slam dunk people because they don't know Jesus. They know, they know an aspect of God that for them has meaning. So, you know, I think it's um, important to recognize that, yeah, for me, Christianity, well, knowing Jesus works, let's put it that way. And my faith is founded in in the experience of that. For other people, it's going to be um, a different kind of walk and journey. And I honor that too. I think if we all just kind of honored our diversity and respected each other and looked to one another as wisdom figures in our own rights, you know, we all have stories, we all have truth, we all have things to share, then the world would be a whole lot better place. So that's my two cents for today. I didn't intend to go there, but I did. What are you going to do? Anyway, let's have a prayer to get us off on this Thursday. And I hope you have a really great day. Gracious God, we give you thanks for this beautiful day filled with color and blessings and good things. Help us in the challenges that we encounter. Help us in the decisions we have to make. Help us to lean on you, knowing that you work for our highest and best at every opportunity, that even when we feel alone, you are standing right beside us with your hand out to take our hand. That even when we encounter difficulties, hard news, tragedies, in our own lives and in the lives of people we know and love and in the larger world that we can trust that things are happening that we don't understand. That we can see beyond the loss and sorrow, grieve with those people and and do what's necessary to protect ourselves and help each other. But also know that in this world of ups and downs and ins and outs and dark and light that there's a message for us and may we find faith may we find a growing understanding growing insights into the truth the reality that you are always there that you do not cause these things but that you are there to help us as we pick up the pieces, as we contend with what is real in our lives. We pray that you are with every single person this day across this planet who are afraid, lonely, in need of healing, 
feeling in the injustice of life and helping them to come to resolution about that, break through to a better way of being. We ask you to send your holy angels to each and every person and creature on this planet that we would know that we are never alone, that we would know that you are with us 24-7, available to us. All we need to do is call on you, reach out, and find your hand waiting. We give you thanks, and we give you praise for all the blessings that pour in on us, even if sometimes we don't appreciate or see it. Thank you for your steadfastness. Thank you for being there. Thank you for everything that you do. Help us to be blessings as we move through our day, to lighten people's loads, to help out in situations where we can, and to keep this world in prayer, to hold a vision of of harmony, of unity, of balance, returning in those places where things are way off kilter. We rest in you. We wait for you. We love you. Thank you so much, gracious God. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Of course, it never fails. I start to pray and there are people walking by and I guess they think I'm talking on the phone, which is a good thing. I pray for them too. Um, it's uh, a busy morning starting up. People are starting to walk their dogs now and uh, I'm watching all the seagulls on the, the river, which is quite choppy. And it's, you know, it's just a beautiful, beautiful place to be and to enjoy life and to enjoy God. I hope that you can find a green place today or a quiet place to sit and just be with yourself. Say a few prayers. Meditate on on the goodness of life and all the love that you have in yours. And I'll talk to you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.